Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be teaching you people how we can make chart on lunar and solar eclipse. So let's get started. Initially, take a full size white chart sheet and do sponge painting on the borders of the chart sheet. I am here doing sponge painting from dark blue color which represents the color of the sky from outwards to inward direction from darker tones to the lighter tones as you can see in the video. Now after completion of the sponge painting we are here sticking some stickers of the elements of the solar system. Here I am sticking some stars you will get these star stickers on any stationery shop very easily. Now after sticking the stickers, draw two parallel lines in the center of the sheet upside down. Here we will be writing our main heading that is the eclipse. I am writing the heading eclipse in bold and dark black letters. You can use any font but it should be visible from far. Just below the main heading, we will be drawing one more line to define what is eclipse called. Here on the screen, I am mentioning the definition of eclipse. You can copy the same from here. We will be dividing the page into two parts with the help of a ruler. The right side is for the lunar eclipse and the left side for the solar eclipse. Now coming on to the drawing, we will be needing a small bowl and we will be drawing two circles parallel to each other on the solar eclipse and then on the lunar eclipse but the second circle of the lunar eclipse will be a bit more closer to the first circle as you can see in the video. Then we will draw the structure of earth on the second circle of the solar eclipse and that of the lunar eclipse. Now we will be drawing four lines from the sun to the earth crossing each other. Between these lines, we'll be drawing a small circle that is the moon of the solar eclipse. Just below the drawing, we'll be writing a small definition of 3 to 4 lines. Here on the screen, I have displayed the definition for you. We'll do the same thing for the lunar eclipse and here for the lunar eclipse also I have mentioned the definition on the screen. Now for the drawing of lunar eclipse, we'll do the same thing. We'll stretch lines from the sun to the earth extending towards the moon at the back of the earth as you can see in the video. Now with the help of dome's water pen, we'll be tracing the definition of the eclipse. You can here use red color or any vibrant color. Further, we'll also trace the definition of solar and lunar eclipse. Now instead of painting the earth, here I am using dome's water pen markers. They are very easy to use and you can see the application is very smooth and uniform. For the rest of the part, I will be filling it with parrot green color and will repeat the same process for the lunar eclipse also. Now for the rays of the sun, here I am using lemon yellow water pen. Now for both the moons, I am using grey water pen. Okay, so now for the shading of the sun, first I will be outlining the whole circle with the help of an orange water pen and then we will be further filling the center of the circle with the help of an acrylic yellow color and then merging them both for a smooth look. Now we will be repeating the same process with the lunar eclipse also as you can see in the video. For the main heading, I will be painting it with a black acrylic color. Now to trace the definition of solar and lunar eclipse, I have used pink color brush pen and for the rays, I have used black color bowl marker. Now here, I am marking all the diagrams. You can here pause the video and see it more efficiently. Now for the outlining of sun, earth and moon, I have here used a bold black marker. So here, a chart for solar and lunar eclipse is ready. If you have any queries or doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. In the description, I have mentioned all the definitions and the material used to make this chart. Thank you so much for watching the video so patiently. Do like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day.